My name's Rico Rennie. I'm an artist based in Melbourne. Um, I explore a lot of themes from my work. I've got an Aboriginal background, and so I'm always exploring issues relating to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders, and um, I suppose contemporary urban uh, Aboriginal identity. We're in Thornbury. Uh, we're just outside the football oval of uh, one of Australia's oldest Aboriginal um, institutions, the Aboriginal Advancement League. You know, the Aborigines Advancement League was one of those really important institutions or organisations that were a focal point of the community. You know, it was a meeting place and it provided a lot of services for um, Aboriginal people from outside of Victoria, uh, within Victoria, and uh, so it was a really integral part of society, Aboriginal society back then. This mural was, uh, was painted back in 1983 and it's one of my favourite pieces of street art. Look, it's a pretty important piece of work on many levels to me, I mean politically, socially and in terms of identity as well as an urban Aboriginal man. I mean this is talking about you know, some of the issues that, that Indigenous people are facing in the city but it's also talking about past and historical issues you know, for members of the community all over Australia. At the time you know, it was a really heavy piece of work and, and it's still quite pertinent today, you know, 28 years later and it's survived, just like Aboriginal people have survived. And it's telling a story about, you know, land rights, you know, incarceration, um, health, education, justice issues. As an artist and as an artist that's had a background, on, you know, in the street and doing graffiti, I mean, you know, a large scale mural, it's stuff I love doing and still do today. And you know, I use stencils and spray paint, and some of the um, imagery associated to the, the this uh, mural is very similar to you know something you do with stenciling or you know th that patterning I, I use as well. So, um, look, you know, apart from the identity of you know being an Aboriginal man and and this reflecting an expression of you know Aboriginal society, um, you know, it's important on many levels. But I just love it because it's you know, something that's been around for. 27, 28 years and uh, you know, it's a part of Melbourne's history.